comes the axe. Prove yourself! These tools have been used. The damage right clicks, the great fire blast, the dot should kill him off. Play hard though, taking a lot of damage. Mushi is unable to get the kill. This gun barely will get forced to leave. This shadow feed out to dry, and he is going to once again be dove and be killed, even with the cog bump back. Such a finicky spell. One armor for the disruptor, plus Bane has brain sap, plus he has some backup here in jabs. He's caught himself a disruptor in a cage. Some karmic justice there from disruptor, usually the one caging opponent. Disruptor, oh, once again, just like Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Look at that, it's a field within a field that will keep Mushi away, but he's gonna jump right over it, get the last hit. Jabs takes a lot of damage here from Skimberlu, but the battery starts slowing them down, he'll be able to slip away. Now Skimberlu gets hit with a bash. Mushi is gonna control the RNG, gets another one as well, is unable to save Jabs, but to sleep and put into a cage. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Mushi's here. First hit bash. All planned, obviously, for Mushi. Skimberlu's gonna hit the top cog, try to get himself out, but it's not gonna happen. Dilation was picked up. Cost-wise, it does add up quite a bit, but oh, you know what? Drop a Chronosphere on a Disruptor. They will focus instead on the Shadow Fiend, maybe even both of them. Disruptor will fall as Moon's taking a lot of damage here. Sonic Wave blink out, and the Rays will miss, which otherwise would have killed the Quap, I think. Mushi's going to just right click actually do no damage because it's only level 1 ability. They'll just go ahead and grab the Quap, try to bring up to the high ground, but play hard, take a big hit from that Scream of Pain. Sonic Wave is there as well, but Queen of Pain does not have another blink to get. None, literally none. Mushi, Chronosphere, found the Bat Rider. There's a Shock Wave here, but that's about all that the Magnus can help, unless he wants to use the RP, will decide to do so. And definitely worth it if they get the kill, and they will do so. Okay, uh, the Bounty Hunter is able to get to level 5.5. Chuan's gonna take a pretty big hit, but the hookshot does miss. They do still see him with the Battery Assault and the ticking Sonic Wave coming through. SF will fall. Death Raccoon does quite a bit of damage, but they'll also pick up the Doctor before they're able to leave. Jabs will leave in a body bag, but they've already collected a 3 for 1. He does have Empower, so he doesn't have to build damage necessarily. Mm, track now up, gonna grab Ice Ice Ice. But they're dragging back an RP, so they have a time bomb to deal with here. He's gonna get out of the Static Storm. Glimpsed back in, no, not quite. Now can cast RP, but there's really no angle for it. He'll just concede his life. In the meantime, over in mid, they've found the Wraith King. He has no backup here. Mushi is here, though the scream from Moon will miss. Field goes up, Skimberlu will lose one life. Here's the, the Chronosphere onto two, leaving through Mushi, and the Sonic Wave will cleave through everyone else. Chuan does still survive, Skimberlu's on his second life. Play hard now is gonna take a huge hit from that Brain Sap and a couple shots from Mushi. Grip now onto the Bat Rider. He doesn't have any help. The Shuriken does not bounce because Ninja Boogie is not tracked. They'll take down March. Ha ha and D. Now the hook shot in from Jabs will pick off Play Hard. His Bat Rider has another lasso. With the Blink Dagger, Mushi is gonna get grabbed. They will have a Static Storm and they will have one raise. They'll have two raids. Barrier, though, still available here for the Faces Void. Can Time Walk? Will heal a little bit, but definitely not enough. And they will finish again without even doing that. Play hard. Finally caught. Chronosphere is there. Mantis Style used. Yes, all Faces Void illusions do work in Chronosphere. Get Burlu. Have backup here. Fresh from the jump right in. Grab himself a Magnus. Really gotta watch out. Static Storm will prevent the usage of RP. Now Ninja Boogie bumped back a little bit, but glimpsed back. Marsh takes a lot of damage here as Moon's gonna come in, assassinate the Bat Rider. Still focusing on the Bane, they will be able to kill him off. Was getting caught part of your plan, Bane. Let's see. Moon's gonna take a couple raises up on the north side. They're gonna try to focus on this Wraith King, but he's just not dying right now. That mischance is being such a backbreaker. They'll go for the Shadow Fiend instead. He'll skid down to the low ground. And finally, Skimberly will lose his first life. Jabs, though, takes a lot of damage from it. He's gonna get pulled right back into not a rec room. That was canceled. The Wraith King spot everything. Jabs put into his own cage. March still has a blink dagger and a lasso. Hook shot. Not gonna happen. Lasso to cancel. I have never seen that before. Jabs, though, is going to be the next track kill, ladies and gentlemen, as the Shadow Fiend will grab that. He's going to see Moon blink, four staff pop Lincoln, and then grab him with the lasso. It's going to be a slow pullback. Static Storm is needed here, and it will come out in time. Oak shot maybe to get this Queen of Pain just a little bit of space, still raises to land. Moon will blink out, gets immediately glimpsed back, and will go down. Jabs as well is tracked up. He is going to try to dodge the raises, but he'll just be right clicked down by the SF. Now looking for Ninja Boogie, play hard is going in pretty deep here for this Bane. Ninja Boogie not going to turn around for a grip or anything like that, so it's an easy two kill here for Geek Fam, although here comes Ice Ice Ice. 
In for Magnus, his Blink Dagger is on cooldown. Mushi in the meantime picks up Chuan. We actually see them. He has back up right around the corner. With no Chronos here, Skimber, who's going to immediately jump right in. He's going to fight up against Mushi. So with the RP coming in with the cleave, maybe they're able to make some sort of turnaround here for Maneski. But all these misses from the Radiance means that the Bounty Hunter is able to slip away. He'll get dusted up and probably taken down by Jeff. Now screwed back, Skimberlu into the tower. Mushi with his army of blue men is going to take down Skimberlu. Go straight in towards Roach. Bat Rider, where is he? He is going to be de-warding. Hookshot in though. Does land onto the Bounty Hunter. He is going to dig his way through, but the grip is there. And here comes the guy with the whip. Unfortunately, that didn't really dice the replay. Smoke up. Hot in. Gonna lay onto the Wraith King, immediately Mad Style is there, plus the Cog bump back. Of course the ultimate is free now, but he will very quickly go down. Into a Chronosphere, he'll respawn. There is no backup available here. Skimberlu will die twice. His allies, not in a position to actually be able to use their agility. Gives you a lot of power damage as well. Oh, the lasso! Baited by the Quap, still they're gonna use the RP on the Bat Rider. Oh, get you baited, son. Up. Mushi has TP support coming in, just gonna get going with the bashes. Wraith King's gonna get a Wraith Fire Blast off before he dies. Mushi's gonna farm it up, Chronosphere up as well. Wraith King is alive, but no, he's not alive because he's dead. Even with all those missed chances, there's no true strike here for Mushi. They need Wraith King there, they need the Bat Rider to initiate on someone important. It's gonna be oh, immediately Nightmare by Ninja Boogie, now gripped as well. They do get the Static Storm off onto the face of Boy, so he can take quite a bit of damage here, but Moon already has the BKB. He's gonna jump with the, the Sonic Wave onto absolutely everyone. Ice Ice there with the RP as well, and Mushi's still alive. He's gonna turn around and start beating down into play hard. Skem Burlo is gonna try to go for the band. He will get him killed off, but at the cost of his own. I'm sure the Wild Wing Ripper deserved that, and now Tron's gonna get punished for it. You kill his bird? I think not. Jab's hookshot can be blocked by Skimberlu. That's actually kind of okay for the clockwork here, because he's just distracting away. While the rest of his allies do their thing, Mushi is going to find March. The grip is there, and Mushi with the BKB active is going to drop a Chronosphere onto three heroes, including the Wraith King right on the edge. This is going to be a two kill, probably even three. Shotgun goes off, and now the Static Store comes in as Tron is going to burst out of the baseboard, but now here comes Ice Ice Ice. With the RP onto three heroes, there's not much follow-up here, as Moon has to leave. They will... Take down Oli, but that's about it. Chuan and Skimberlu still standing strong and will be able to drive everyone else back. Moon off the Shiva's guard trying to rush for the Shadow Fiend. Sonic Wave right clicks. Oh, Chuan is still alive. Back away from him though. They're not sure what they should be doing. They're going to jump in. Chronosphere, they caught the Static Storm. Only the Disruptor in this one. The Heat are going to take him down mighty quick. RP is going to jump in, land onto the Shadow Fiend, and also will take down the Reincarnation of the Wraith King. Mushi's still at full HP. No Static Storm. Look at the difference in this engagement. Double Lasso, thanks to the Echo Shell. He's going to keep the Bat Rider there for him to go down. Skimberlu's going to die again. Immediately does buy back, but he only does work out pretty well for them. Skewer back way past where Mushi dove in, but still Skimberlu does have one reincarnation. Mass stuns now from the Wraith Fire Blast. Immediately, immediately bumped back by the Cogs and then Swarm will be down for two minutes. Hook shot in. We'll make it a full team wipe. And that will be a good luck, have fun call from.